All right, and the third leg has started. And as you can see, it's taken a little bit for uh, the game to kind of catch up with all these gnomes running. So it looks like Turnwinkle's pretty much running by himself, but that's not the case, folks. Um, there is gnomes all around me, I, I promise you. And again, it's just taking a little bit for the, uh, the game to load in all the gnomes. And here we go. Now we're starting to see them load in. And uh, again, it just took a second for everybody to load up. <laughs> And so as we continue the run, uh, now we're going to head towards uh, Stranglethorn and uh, in that neck of the uh, that neck of the run. So, or that leg of the run, actually. So as we continue along, this is going to be uh, a little scary. I'm going to try to stick to the middle of the road so uh, we don't get eaten by uh, either the. Uh, a lot of feral worgen out in Duskwood. A lot of wolves and the uh, mastiffs as well. Uh, so hopefully we won't run into... Oh, also a lot of uh, spiders in this zone as well. <laughs> Once again, last time we were through here, uh, we, uh, we were on Glen, so we kind of went through a little quicker. And uh, let's get looking behind us here, seeing all the fun folks running along along with us here as we're uh <laughs> hello starbug and uh you know just running along having a great time enjoying uh, this wonderful event once again you know it it really shows uh how how much the wow community is willing to give of its time and uh, put in the work uh, for such a good cause. It really is a great thing. And so we're going to come around the corner here. And now we're heading into... Uh, heading towards Stranglethorn Vale. It would be nice to get kind of into uh, a... a lighter area. Again, this is going to be, I think, the most dangerous part of the run will be this next uh, next next part here. Uh, Stranglethorn Vale has the tigers, the uh, panthers, uh, raptors, and the gorillas, which are all dangerous, especially to uh, low levels. So the guards are going to have their hands full and uh, boy, look at that. Look at all the gnomes coming up over that rise. <laughs> and onto the bridge. And a lot of people wanting to stop. And again, as we come into the new zone. Uh, but uh, they're going to continue running. So here we go, and we're the the word is we're going to keep going straight to Booty Bay. So here we go, folks. This is again the most dangerous part of this journey, uh, due to all the dangerous creatures. So hopefully uh, we're not going to get jumped here. I think we're in a good spot because uh, as we've gone along, we're seeing a lot of dead animals alongside the road and it seems like the guards are doing an excellent job keeping all the gnomes safe. Whoa, careful now. I don't know if this rope bridge can hold this many gnomes. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Not a problem. Yeah, see there was an alligator there, a tiger there. And so thank Again, thank you to the folks that volunteered. Now, again, it looks like Turnwinkle's running alone, but rest assured, he's not. There are other folks running with him. They just, uh, the game's having a hard time keeping up with this many gnomes running. So we're just going to continue running, and you'll, s you'll start to see people pop in. And just like that, there they are. 
So wonderful. As people keep running, and again, it, it, it is a little taxing on the system, this many gnomes. Uh, and the server is actually held up, I think, fairly well. We haven't had any issues, I don't think, in that regard. So, so far, so good. Oh, there's a tiger. There is a tiger. He's after somebody. And I hope it's not me. Ah! Ah! He's right in Oh, no! He's right in the mist. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh! We've... S the humanity. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, we... We... Boy, we... Oh, there's an, someone that didn't make it. Again, we're, we're going to start to see that, I think, the closer we get to Booty Bay. That was a close one, Turwinkle. Boy, that... <laughs> Oh man, the guards are having their hands full and some of the uh, beasts are starting to leak through a little bit. Uh, again, we're going to try to stick as close to the middle as we can. Oh, so sorry for those folks that uh, were eaten. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so we'll uh, keep running. Uh, again, I'll try to keep some gnomes around me as... Uh, Shields, thank you guys. <laughs> oh boy. That got a little ugly there. Alright, if I could not get run over by the uh by the turtle, that would be great. And uh, actually, uh, you know, uh for some uh, I I do lose Turwinkle every now and again in the crowd there, even as I'm watching. So All right, and again, uh, we did see a few casualties there, so hopefully uh, they're able to get back to their bodies and uh, continue uh, on with the run. And so you can see, again, it looks like the guards have cleared the way thus far. It just depends on, you know, how far ahead the guards are. Uh, and uh, as far as the respawn timer for the uh, mobs alongside the road. And we'll try to keep on the uh, middle of the path. That way we're not attacked. It, again, it looks like quite a few raptors uh, down this way. But we are getting closer to Booty Bay as uh, with each, each stride. And yeah, I'm starting to see a few skeletons here. And it looks like we have reached Fort Livingston. I'll be interested to see which path they take from this point because there are some trolls ahead. Oh boy, unfortunately again we are seeing some gnomes that have fallen for this cause of breast cancer awareness. And so again, kind of sticking with the crowd here and once again it'll be interesting to see. It looks like we are going to take the path alongside uh, the um, the cliff. So here we go. Again, I know there are trolls up this way. So uh, and this cliff cliff path doesn't give you much room uh, to maneuver. So hopefully that. Uh, uh. Okay, so. We have a friend request from Mana Brownie, Oop. and uh, that is a wonderful person on Twitter, and I enjoy all the stuff she does on Twitter, and uh, she is always so very kind to retweet uh, stuff that I've put out there, and so as soon as we get a second here, uh, we will, uh, yeah, that was a dangerous path there, you're right, watch your footing there, guys. Again, this is kind of another dangerous area because there are uh, animals out there that can kill you. And uh, let's see if I can sneak in here without getting attacked. I think we're, again, I think we're in a pretty good spot here. We're not in front and we're not too far behind. I think we're in a pretty good spot. So we will keep going. <laughs> to the arena. 
As you can see, people are... Oh, there we go. We leveled up to level three. <laughs> I don't want to look too, too too much behind us there. Uh, where we'd m run into something going the other way. <laughs> so, uh, as we go, we'll just keep keep running along here. We're almost there. Uh, we're, we're closing in on... Uh, Closing in on Booty Bay. And so, uh, we'll just keep running. All right, well, as we continue, uh, Again, we just got through uh, the arena area there, and now we are in the Cape of Stranglethorn, closing in on Booty Bay. This is wonderful. Uh, I think we're... I, I hate to count my chickens before they're hatched. The gorillas are up next, and so we are going to try to uh, get through this area. There's another panther. And again, uh, the gorillas are coming up. So, uh, hopefully we will not be uh, killed by a gorilla. <laughs> Again, those folks running alongside the road are, are playing a dangerous game. See, there's a gorilla. Um, you know, I'm trying to stick to the middle of the road as much as possible. That way I'm not aggroing uh, any of the uh, beasts alongside the road. Alrighty, and again, the Horde and Alliance folks are uh, helping here today to keep the run safe. And right around the corner, folks, is Booty Bay. I think we are going to make it. I think we're going to make it, folks. You know, I had some doubts when the race started uh, uh, leading up to the event, as a matter of fact. Uh, that we were going to make it in one piece. There's so many opportunities for a gnome of our diminutive size and uh, level uh, to get here in one piece. And it looks like, folks, we've made it to Booty Bay. This is wonderful. As we come in to Booty Bay. Well, folks, this has just been a great run. Of course cockroaches which is just if somebody could get on that please and take care of those I would appreciate that. As we come into Booty Bay again I want to thank everybody that has participated today again from the bottom of my heart thank you so much. Once again as much fun as this event was, uh, it really is for a very wonderful cause, um, and that is breast cancer awareness. Hopefully, uh, the money that is raised here today will do some good in advancing research into a cure for uh, that horrible, horrible disease. And again, more gnomes coming in. Uh, we want to just remember those folks uh, that are currently suffering with this disease and those that have passed on because of it and uh, give our thanks uh, to all the wonderful folks that are working to help those folks in uh, the medical industry. And... Uh, and again, our thoughts and prayers are with those that are suffering at this time. And hopefully, uh, someday soon, there'll be a cure for uh, breast cancer. Well, folks, we will be back. And I think the next thing that is up on the agenda will be the heart event. And uh, this is where the gnomes gather in a, uh, a heart shape for... Uh, 
the pitcher for this year's running of the Gnomes 2013. All right, as you can see here, without the uh, <laughs> without the boxes on it here, uh, as you can see, let me see if I can get those boxes off there for everybody. It? There we go. As you can see, uh, there's the heart for the breast cancer awareness. Folks, this is just, again, what a great event. We've had such a good time here. And look at all those gnobes down there. That is wonderful. They've done an excellent job with uh, making the heart. It's a wonderful job. <laughs> Turnwinkle's in there. I, I promise you, he's in there. <laughs> all right, folks. Well, what's going to happen next is all these brave gnomes are going to try and get to a uh, garage and try to lick him. So we're going to give it a shot. We're going to try to run in to garage. And oh my gosh, I'm going to get to the middle of the boat so I don't get... <laughs> oh my word. We're this is a lot of gnomes on the boat. <laughs> see if this boat can handle this many gnomes coming. Uh, this is, oh my gosh. There are gnomes all over this boat, folks. This is going to be wonderful. We're going to try to get somebody there to uh, lick garage. right by Sorrow here. And uh, he's saying uh, Emerald Dream, but uh, again, we all know Kalimdor. Well, we're going to, again, try to get to Garage in Ogremar. And so this is going to be interesting. Again, this is going to be <laughs> a suicide chance. Uh, Torwinkle's going to give it his best shot. And if we got to, first of all, get off the dock here safely. There we go, we got on all right. Oh, and again, we lost everybody for a second. But uh, there we go, everybody's back up. And we're all rushing towards Ogremar. Uh, this is the uh, another fun part of the event where uh, once again, somebody's gonna try to get in there to lick the garage. And uh, I don't think they know what's coming. And this is going to be quite a, a fight to get into uh, Ogremar with all the guards around, especially now. Uh, whoop, almost went off the road there. Especially now with the uh, this expansion and all the uh, the siege of Ogremar stuff that's going on. So we're climbing the hill up here, and once again we are in Ratchet. And uh, oh, let me see if Turwinkle can get out his balloon as well. So go to here, and let's go to our mounts to pet journal. And we got our balloon here, and we'll summon that. There we go. So Turwinkle's got out his his balloon as well for the alliance. And again, there are a lot of horde folks here as well uh, that have uh, made uh, level one gnomes or low-level gnomes. And uh, so this is just wonderful. And again, we're going to try to get there. This is going to be a little more dangerous because I don't know how many guards uh, we have uh, coming along on this part of the journey. 
So this should be interesting to see how far Turwinkle can get. Again, I've kind of lost him here in the crowd. There he is. Uh, let's see how far Turwinkle can get uh, before uh, falling to either a guard or or something along that that uh, along that those lines. <laughs> This has really been uh, just a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, look at all those gnomes. And again, thats I wish I could render every single gnome. Whoop, almost got off the road there. Every single gnome as we uh, are closing in on the crossroads. We're going to have to make a detour s through some dangerous territory uh, to get by the guards at the... Uh, so we're going off-road a little bit here. Again, Turwinkle will kind of try to hang into the, the crowd here. So this is kind of some dangerous territory. It looks like, again, though, that we do have some guards ahead of us a little ways. Um, oh, there's a zebra. Hello, zebra. And uh, Turwinkle has not been out to this area before. So this is kind of new to him. Oh, there is a buzzard up there. But he's uh, not aggroable. <laughs> well, we are coming up, though, as I recall, on some. Oof, you know, we're kind of in the middle, back in the middle here. There are, sh I think there are uh, knolls or something over here. Thornhill. Again, looks like we do have some protection, as I see some of the beasts uh, on the ground here around us. So it looks like we are a little safe here thus far, but there's a lot of yeah, a lot of uh, yeah. See, someone is killing those uh, razor manes. So we do have some people out here looking uh, looking out for the uh, gnomes as we. Tr make our way towards Ogremar and the licking of Garrosh. So this is uh <laughs> This has just been wonderful. I have been having so much fun. Once again folks, I, I am so thankful for each and every one of you. This has just been a, a great amount of fun. Uh I, I have no complaints whatsoever. This has just been great. And Dravi has done such a wonderful job organizing everything, uh, working so hard to get this event off the ground this year. So thank you. My thanks and hats off to uh, Dravi and all the wonderful work she did here to get this event going uh, this year. And uh, we look forward to uh, this again next year. And hopefully Turnwinkle is still around and uh, still doing uh, all the fun stuff that we're doing. And hopefully you folks are uh, still enjoying the game at that time. Who knows? Uh, new expansion should maybe up and running at that time. We'll see. Uh, with BlizzCon coming up here within a few short weeks, uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what Blizzard has in store for uh, Azeroth in the upcoming expansion of the game. All right, we're oh, oh boy, there's a horde guard. He is killing gnomes as we speak, so hopefully he doesn't have us targeted. We're gonna keep running. Yes, we're we're running as fast as we can. Uh, as you can see, he was uh, shooting shooting people. <laughs> Man down. Oh boy. So again, uh, that guard, take a look back. I don't see him uh, following us, but uh, just going to keep keep trudging on. Turnwinkle's getting closer to Orgrimmar. You can see the gates in the distance. I, I am, again, surprised that uh, we have made it this far uh, without, uh, without dying yet, knock on wood. Um, but I, I, I just sense that we are <laughs> we are nearing the end of this mighty run 
there's only so much the guards can do in, uh, in protecting us um, as we uh, we have to keep the line moving exactly right so this has just been a blast we we've really enjoyed every bit of it as we close in on Terrawinkle running along here and as you can see the gates right ahead of us it's gonna be a battle just to <laughs> Uh, people are starting to they're starting to kill a few of the gnomes as we get closer. Uh, there are the mighty gates of Ogamar. I don't know. Oh, it looks like we are crossing the river at this point. There are alligators in the water, so here we go. Into the water we go, swimming across. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, there's a dead, a dead gator below us, and we made it across the river. Oh, here we go, folks, coming up on Orgrimmar. Again, we're gonna see if we can't uh, at least get through the gates. It'll be something if we can get through the gates here. Uh, the guards, maybe their arms will be tired from killing so many, so many gnomes. Oh boy. <laughs> As we close in. Hooray! Again, we want to <laughs> We want to thank everybody uh for participating. Uh this has just been a, a just a a pleasure to run with everybody here today. And uh especially House Harmon. They've been a great guild to uh hang out with. And, uh, oh boy, are we stopping? It looks like we're stopping here. Okay, looks like we're stopping here. So, this will be interesting. We'll see how uh, this goes. And it looks like we're, we're all stopping to make a big push. And, uh, see if we can't get as many gnomes to make that that rush into Ogamar. So <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of gnome down uh, chats and in the chat a lot of people saying gnome, gnome down. Uh, again hopefully Turnweekle can let's scooch in a little bit more. <laughs> You can see we're getting ready to make that charge. Again, we're going to see if we can't lick Garage. And, uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. And the rush is on. We're making the rush. We're going to see if we can do it. I see a lot of, a lot of gnomes have fallen along the way. So we're... We're just going to try to stick to the middle here and see if we can't get in. There are the gates, folks. I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of gnome skeletons. I'm hearing some death, <laughs> death animations. Okay, we're, we're going through the. We're making it. Oh boy, it looks like. Turnwinkle's all on his own. Ah! <laughs> all right. We're so far. We are. We're right in the middle. <laughs> we made it, folks. We made it in. That is. That is something else. Okay, we are in. So now the next step in is to say we could try to get up. Get up to uh, the main area. Turnwinkle's going for it. Oh boy, we're gonna get inside. We made it inside. All right, let's try to get up to Garage. There he is. Kiss him, lick him, lick him, Turwinkle. There he is. We got him licked. We did it, we did it. All right, we did it. <laughs> we did it. We licked him, folks, you saw it. We licked him right there. That was wonderful, we did it. <laughs> Oh boy. 
I cannot believe we made it. We made it. All the way in, we kissed uh, and licked Garage. And uh, wonderful. Well, folks, uh, <laughs> Terwinkle will uh, be back in the hinterlands with his final thoughts on this wonderful, wonderful event. <laughs> All right, folks, well, we have some of the uh, fine folks of Wormrest Accord uh, here w uh, with us that came to uh, enjoy the event. Uh, thank you, folks, again, everybody from Wormrest Accord that showed up uh, to do and support uh, this wonderful event. Um, we sure appreciate it. <laughs> and we have Terwinklet here. Uh, she said she got a lot of people confusing uh, me for her. Uh, and we're really honored that she uh, chose to uh <laughs> chose that name uh, to uh, use for her uh, tune uh, today. So thank you very much for that. It looks like we're all dancing uh, with the uh, <laughs> the orc there. <laughs> Uh, all right, folks. Well, we've got uh, some Band of Misfits folks here with us that did the run. Uh, we got Morgul Poof, Sorrow, and uh, Tor. And they, thank you so much, guys. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Oh, it was a Most blast. definitely. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. It, we had so much fun. I can't say enough about uh, all the wonderful folks that showed up here today to support uh, such a wonderful cause like breast cancer awareness. Yeah, most definitely. Um, the Band of Misfits were glad to take part. Not only uh, did the Mad Band of Misfits, but uh, Clan Battlehammer, Order, um, some members from FAL, and just all over the great server of Emerald Dream showed up. Uh, thank you folks for, for coming out and making it very possible. Uh, thank everybody for showing up, no matter what server you're on. Uh, thank you for coming out and supporting such a great cause. Uh, I know I appreciate it, and the, and the, the founders of this event uh, surely do appreciate it also. You bet. I saw so many different servers uh, uh, that showed up. You know, especially there was a ton of folks from uh, Wormrest Accord. Uh, from Moonguard, uh, from of course uh, Scarlet Crusade, there was folks here. Um, you know, just all sorts of different servers, and really, it was such a fun time and a great way for the WoW community to show its support for breast cancer awareness. Well, folks, what we're going to do next is we will see Turwinkle back in the hinterlands with his final thoughts on this wonderful, wonderful event. And we are back. Well, Terwinkle, what a night, wasn't it? Affirmative. Yeah, that was quite a run. And again, let us finish by saying thank you to everybody that ran tonight. Allow me to express my deepest thanks. For everybody that showed up, for everybody that put hard work and effort into making this a fun event, we can't wait to hear uh, the final numbers on the amount of people that showed up uh, what we were able to raise and uh, how well we did. I have talked to several people already, several guilds, and uh, everyone that I've talked to has enjoyed uh, the event thoroughly. There were several people that were able to make it to Garage, which is wonderful, and we just can't say enough. Folks, if you'd like to donate, again, runningofthenomes.blogspot.com, there's a link for you there. Uh, please feel free to donate whatever you would like. Uh, every little bit helps. Um, so folks, if you like this episode, click that like button. If you would uh, like to comment on this wonderful event, please do so below. Let Dravi and everybody else know what you thought of the event and uh, what it meant to you. And finally, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, we would love to have you. <laughs> and we would love, excuse me, to bring more of these great kind of WOW community events to you and uh, hopefully 
uh, for you to in, con to continue to enjoy. Well, Terwinkle, with that, I know you are exhausted. Your legs are tired. You had quite a night. So we're going to let you go, sir. And, sir, we will see you next time. Farewell. Farewell, Terwinkle. Farewell. <laughs>